I'm Cory Doctorow, and you're listening to a Creative Commons licensed podcast. Some rights reserved. This is the Trilingual Chatbox podcast. We're Laurie from Taiwan. And I from Japan. In this podcast, we share our Japanese and Mandarin language learning experience with our audience in English. If you're interested or you have a similar language learning background, welcome to join us. Lori-san, what are you reading? I have no idea. It was just right there on the floor. Yeah, I just picked it up and brought it home. It's a strange book. There's no way I'll pay for it. You shouldn't have brought it back, Lori-san. Oh, come on. It's just a book. What's the big deal? You have to give it back. Okay, okay. You must return it first thing tomorrow morning. Hello. Hello, my son. Welcome Hi. back to the Trilingual Chat Box podcast. Welcome. Welcome back. Hey, my son. I'm glad that our podcast is gradually growing, right? Mm, yeah, <laughs> I'm happy about it too. Yeah, we just launched a sort of official website on WordPress. That's mm-hmm. uh, the Trilingual Chat Box dot WordPress dot com. All our podcast recordings are available there. Uh, as well as the skit of each episode. <laughs> and um, from there, you guys are welcome to link to our Instagram, where my son has already had some interesting Japanese posts for you to have a taste of Japan. Uh, <laughs> my son, would you <laughs> like fun. to introduce a little bit about your Instagram posts? Okay. I just started posting some things, which is to introduce Japanese culture and food and maybe later on I want to put some um, some things regarding Japanese language mm-hmm. and yeah the second post was about our culture which is called Toyo no Ushi no Hi. Have you heard of it? Uh, no, I've never heard of it before. <laughs> uh, on that day usually we eat uh, unagi no kabayaki. Unagi is eel. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think it's uh, one thing which we can, you know, I can share with our audience. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, unagi is really, really delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, um, right, then uh, let's get back to our podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, this will be the second part of a two-part Chinese podcast. Um, if... You haven't already listened to the first part. I would like to recommend that you go check out the first part of the same topic before you start with this one. Mm-hmm. It's the sixth episode t- titled "Jiu Shi Yao Jiu." Why is it here? Okay, we talked about four concepts in that episode, and this one is a follow-up. Okay,、mm-hmm. uh, now let's get right into it. My son, you brought us four different situations. That the word "jo" is used with four example sentences the last time, right?、Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Then a quick recap: the first one is to express that something's going to happen very soon,、mm-hmm. to、uh, assure the listener that it won't take long in a psychological sense. <laughs>、mm-hmm. Okay, and then and the second use is to shorten the time span and also to emphasize. That the event that's talked about happen earlier than needed or expected.、Mm-hmm. Then、um, the third one includes a structure, e da 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 jo da da da. Okay, and is usually translated as as soon as.、Mm-hmm. And the last one, the fourth one,、uh, also the easiest one, has exactly the same meaning as another Chinese word, zhi zhi yao. Uh, which we、mm. use to express only, right?、Mm. Okay. okay.、Um, today we're going to cover another three concepts, including the last sentence、uh, you mentioned. 我不知道为什么，我就不喜欢它 And your translation was, "I don't know why I don't like him." Mm. Mm-hmm. And、uh, mm-hmm. let me give you the outline of what I'm going to talk about today first. 
I'll refer to them as concept number five, six, and seven. Okay. Um, concept number five, uh, it's emphasis. Okay, 加强语气 This covers the sentence we just talked about. And、uh, concept number six, it's also a kind of emphasis, but the emphasis is specifically about the number or amount of something.、Uh, it gets tricky here because we can use it to emphasize the number is large, as well as it is small.、Mm, okay. <laughs> It depends on the context <laughs> where the sentence is used. <laughs> okay. Okay. And the last concept is relatively easier. It shows the consequence of a certain event or the result of it. Okay. <laughs> and back to、mm -hmm. concept number five. Ah,、uh, your example sentence. Ah,、uh, I'll repeat that again. 我不知道为什么，我就不喜欢他。嗯、mm. And the translation. I would suggest is I don't know why, but I just don't like him.、Um, from yours, I just added the word "just" there mm. Mm. to show you how it feels when you have the word "jo"、yeah. there in the、mm. sentence.、Mm. Yeah. So、uh, again, the corresponding word choice in English I would suggest you to make is "just" or "right."、Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a bit like when you're trying to say "exactly" or Simply, so when、mm. I teach English to my students, I um um I always tell them, if you want to translate "jo" into English, try imagine it sounding like "just." 我就是 I just. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Yeah. So to me, they're almost identical in a way. Um. um yeah. Or it's also like the word "right." Oh, right,、mm. used for emphasis. I'll be right back. In、mm. Chinese, I'll go for <laughs> 我就回来 or 我马上就回来 Hmm. Yeah. So for sentence, um, <laughs> for the sentence, you can also say 我不知道为什么我就是不喜欢他 So, um,、mm. in this case, you can also add 是 behind the word 就、so、Yeah. 就嗯，我就不喜欢他，我就是不喜欢他。Okay, they're yeah, they they sound the same. Um,、mm -hmm. let me give you two more examples.、Mm -hmm. If a naughty boy asks to go out before he finishes homework,、mm -hmm. and you say no means no. Okay, like uh, what we did in the skit.、Mm -hmm. In Chinese, you can then say 不行就是不行。嗯、mm -hmm. ，the 就是 right there is an emphasis. To show how strongly you're opposed to the idea,、uh, or if you want to say, "I don't believe he didn't understand. It's not that he couldn't, but he wouldn't."、Mm -hmm. Okay, then you say, 我就不相信他不懂 I just don't believe that、mm -hmm. he didn't understand. Or, 我就是不相信他不懂 Again, that's an emphasis. Okay. okay. Does okay. does it make、okay. sense? <laughs> I have one sentence here. Is it、um, is it the same? Okay. okay. I have. 家里就是我外婆家 Right. Right. This is, is the exactly the place where my、uh, grandma stays. Okay. Something、mm -hmm. like that.、Mm -hmm. I, it's uh, also a, an example of emphasis.、Mm -hmm. Okay.、Mm. Right. Nice.、Uh, now here's another emphasis. But this one's a little bit trickier,、uh, even funnier, I'd say. <laughs> I mean,、mm -hmm. not until I dug into it have I realized that Chinese speakers do use this kind of structure to give two completely opposite implications.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay.、Uh, when I mentioned the outline, I said that concept two,、um, that concept six, deals with the expression of emphasizing the number, the The amount of something being、mm. large or small, right?、Mm, right.、Uh, let's hear an example first.、Um, actually, I'd like to borrow your sentence again <laughs> from the, the, the last time. 我就去过一次上海 Okay, the last time you translated it as "I've only been to Shanghai once." Okay, here it sounds like we're using 就 as only. 
right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll show you how it can be the opposite.、Um, picture you're in a room full of people who all have been abroad, and、mm -hmm. you say, "Everyone here has been abroad." 这里每个人都出过国 And you then say the sentence, 我就去过一次上海 So you're you're taking you as an example of what you just mentioned that everyone here has been abroad at least once. Like me, I've been to Shanghai. I've also、mm. been abroad, and I'm not the only one. I'm just one out of many.、Mm. So here, your emphasis is on how large the number of people having the experience of being abroad is.、Um, but our original translation was. I've only been to Shanghai once, right? Yeah. But it's the same sentence. 我就去过一次上海 <laughs> So、mm. this is what I mean by saying that it really depends on the context where the sentence、mm -hmm. is used. It could、okay. be emphasizing a large number or how small the number is.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's another example.、Um, 我每天就讲一个小时电话 Yeah, it can be translated as, "I only speak for one hour on the phone every day," or、mm -hmm. it can be an implication of how much you love speaking on the phone. You're telling me that you speak one hour on the phone per day, and every single day you do that, and that you're feeling like it's a lot. But you use the exactly the same sentence. 我每天就讲一个小时电话 Only okay, so it depends on the yes, context. Yes, yes, exactly.、Mm. Yeah,、um, use、mm -hmm. "jo" there to express two implications that are right opposite.、Mm. Yeah, I find it really interesting and <laughs> funny, <laughs> but I guess it's just the same concept of an emphasis. I guess. Yeah,、okay. "jo." Yeah, "jo." 一个小时 can be a lot or can be really not so much. <laughs>、mm. mm -hmm. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Okay. Last but not least, concept number seven. This one is easy. Okay. The word "jiao" here,、uh, or usually we'll go for the phrase "jiao hui." Here,、um, here they work like the word "than" as an adverb to show something's coming up next, or one thing happens after something else happens, like as a result or as a consequence. For example,、uh, exercise more often, and then you'll be able to lose weight. In Chinese, I'll say, 多运动，你就会瘦下来的 Okay, so you you、mm. use the 就会 there、um, to say that as a consequence of、uh, exercising more often, then you'll be able to lose weight.、Okay, mm. One more example:、uh, go straight. And turn right at that corner,、mm -hmm. and you'll see a bank. Go straight, 直走 and turn right at that corner. 在那个转角右转 and you'll see a bank. 然后你就会看到一间银行 Hmm. Okay. Is it、yeah. possible to say the same sentence without "jiao"? Um, you mean 然后你会看到一间银行 Hmm. Also,、right? you have to use some other word. Yeah, you have to use the word 会就会、mm -hmm. If you only say 然后你看到一间银行 I I feel like you might still have something else that you you want to add because、mm -hmm. it doesn't sound like the end of a sentence. It doesn't、mm -hmm. sound like a result of something else. Hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. That's all for today.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope that I'm getting my point across.、Mm -hmm. uh, my side. Is there anything I might need to clear up? Um,、uh, I think I understood. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> How about we give you a quick quiz <laughs> to、okay. see if we get the gist of these <laughs> concepts? <laughs> Okay, but、uh, I must say it's not easy to come up with some proper quizzes only on one topic, the word Joe. So this time I'll make a tiny tweak.、Um, again, my sound just choose between A or B. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, I have three questions for you.、Mm-hmm. Um, here we go. Number one: When Chinese people see kanji in Japanese, okay, we're usually able to guess the meanings.、Mm-hmm. So between the two translations, which one sounds more natural? Mm, okay. Okay. A. 看到汉字就猜得到意思。B. 看到汉字猜得到意思。Okay. A. Yes. Yeah.、Sounds、we need the.、Natural. Yeah. We need the jolt there to to show the consequence of seeing kanji, and、uh, then you、okay. can guess the meaning. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, without the jolt there, it doesn't sound. Yeah, it sound. It sounds like you you you're still adding something to the sentence.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Number two, please pick the correct translation. Guess what? He's going to get married. A. 你知道吗？他就要结婚了。B. 你知道吗？他结婚了。嗯、mm-hmm.。A. Right. Exactly.、Um, <laughs> the Jo Yao here expresses that something is going to happen soon. That's、uh, concept number one.、Right? The, the, mm. the, the mm. concept we talked about the last the last time.、Uh-huh. Uh, so B here sounds like he already got married. 他结婚了 It doesn't sound、mm. like he's going to. He he he、uh, did get married there. Okay. Okay. This one. And number three, which of the two sentences? Implies that the speakers feel like they're eating a lot of toast or even too much toast.、Mm-hmm. Okay, A, 时间不够，所以我就吃一片吐司。B, 我一天有八节课，每到下课我就吃一片吐司。Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to feel like.、Uh, They're expressing they're eating a lot of toast, too much B, toast. B, B, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're right again.、Uh, A means the speaker only eats a slice of toast because of the time limit. Okay, 时间不够，所以我就吃一片吐司。But in sentence B, it feels like the speaker is always eating toast. Every <laughs> when it comes to、uh, between classes, he, he eats yeah one slice of toast. So that's a lot. Ah, <laughs>、uh, okay, okay. So the、uh, number three B is、mm. the concept of you. You explained number five. Yeah. Um.、Uh, number six.、Oh. Number six. Number six. Yeah, we're、oh, yeah, um, yeah. implying that it could be a large number or a small number. Ah,、uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but、mm-hmm. we're using the same sentence, but you、mm-hmm. need, need context. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I really have no idea why Chinese people haven't come up with seven words to cover the seven <laughs> concepts, but instead we're using only one, which can be so frustrating and confusing. But I believe it's probably more of a cultural thing or a habitual、mm-hmm. thing. Like、mm-hmm. we most likely use "jo" in a lazy way or or so vaguely that it sort of encompasses the meaning of another.、Mm-hmm. More precise use of a set of phrases,、mm-hmm. and and eventually the laziness becomes the norm. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is this is just a wild guess, just me. Okay, this is nothing official or professional. No, no, just please don't take it too seriously. <laughs> so, you like to use to Chinese people? Yeah,、like、yeah,、Chinese、yeah.、People. It's it's like. I I cannot speak without using the word "chill." <laughs> It's in every it sentence. If I use "chill," you know, like natural way, then it sounds yeah more native. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even like when when I'm when I'm thinking about something、um, uh-huh. in English, you might say it. Um, 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 uh, In in Chinese, you can say "chill, chill, chill." When yeah, to imply you're thinking. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we、uh-huh. use it in a lot of very、sentences. useful.、Word. Yeah, it's a useful word, a、mm. very functional, multi-functional <laughs> word. Okay. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. 
we'll be discussing another topic focusing on Mandarin Chinese that's specifically chosen by my son next time. So welcome to join us again. If you have any questions, suggestions, or if you want us to discuss a certain topic, please leave a voice message to us. We will try to make an episode on that topic. All right. See you next time. Bye.